as we keep growing and as you keep moving from one stage to another, there are particular things that change. Where our country is at the moment is not at the place of prophecy or prayer. Because whatever we prayed for, we have received. It's not, not true. We prayed for a government, we have it. Whatever was revealed and prophesied, we have seen it. Amidst all negative things and forces, we have been able to see what God promised us. Our country is not at the place of prayer. And we are not at the place of waiting for God to show us because we already know what will come to pass. Where are we then? We are at the place of wisdom and decision making. We are at the place of wisdom and decision making. When God refers to us things, there are things he does not tell us. For instance, God did not tell Adam and Eve that they would be expectant and carry a baby for nine months. He did not, he did not talk about pregnancy for nine months. But he told them you, they shall be fruitful and multiply. He never considered labor pains in that speech. When God gives you a destiny and a future, there are particular things he does not refer to you. They will happen in between, but you will handle them as they come. Imagine being the first woman on earth and you have never seen anybody expect her and, you, and then you are beginning carrying a pregnancy. You may think it's a disease. But God never said, Adam and Eve, you shall conceive and bear a son. He simply told them you shall be fruitful and multiply. A lot of things will be happening in our journey in this nation that will require particular decision making at every stage. And I want to speak this to the nation and to you. That change never occurs without the cost. But those involved must be very careful that it does not cost them their opportunity. This is very important. <laughs> Praise God. Change never occurs without a cost. But those involved must be very careful that it does not cost them their opportunity. Praise be to God. Some actions that we take can be good and correct, but inappropriate. Some actions that we take can be good and correct, but inappropriate. Because if we do not factor in the consideration of the timing, we get it wrong, even though it's right. The actions that the country is involved in could be correct and right, are accurate, but inappropriate. Praise be to God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 23, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 23, the Bible says, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible. I'm reading this verse for the second time to the nation. I read it many days ago when God gave us a prophetic word for the country is given us a, a word of guidance. Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is constructive. All things can be very good, but they are not all good all the days. Nobody should seek his own good, but the good of others. Praise be to God. I want to quote the words of our Dear President, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, he once said, It is only a fool who does not change his mind. It is only a fool who does not change his mind. Meaning, every individual with a package of wisdom can change his mind anytime, anywhere, for the common good. And for the sake of the good of this nation, there must be change of mind, and if possible, change of heart. And as many as are of the same opinion say hi. And those who are of contrary opinion say nay, the eyes are beat. <laughs>